Yeah, because in my, in my summing up, I also want to include that information. The last, uh, uh, the last part, one line reads, calls. May you please read it? Calls made before and after the incident. Yes. May you proceed? 0 to August 2014 and 15 October 2014. And we know that this incident took place on the 26th of October 2014. So, yes. so these calls that are mentioned on page number 23, which we have just read now, are all calls that, if they were made, they were made on before the incident, not so? Yes. And this is my summary. On behalf of my accused, that this information that is contained on Exhibit 02, on Paragraph 4, on that little, little um, analysis of the data, on the table there, constitute fraud, number one. And why do I say that? It is because it differs materially from the information that was prepared by an expert who is you, who has painstakingly explained how information is safeguarded in their system. How this fraud was committed, I don't know. But with the technology these days, everything is possible. Manipulation of information as it is happening here. That's my first point. We've got no comments. No comments. Uh, the purpose of this information on O, O2, uh, on exhibit O2, on paragraph four, on that little extract of a table there, the sole purpose was to fabricate or is to fabricate a case to trump up a false case against accused number five to make it appear as if accused number five, and they're even very wrong here when they say after the incident, when their own information does not speak about after the incident. But nonetheless, it's a fabrication, a trumping up of a case against accused number five so that it appears as if accused number five did have a communication with the number ending 358, which number is said to be belonging to Kelly Kumar. That's point number two. Point number three is going to come. I'm done with point number two. You don't have a comment? No comment. Thank you. Point number three. This is also a villain endeavor by the state to fabricate or trump up a case against Kelly Kumalo herself that on this date she had a conversation with accused number five. As that number that ends with 202, it's a number that belongs to accused number five. That's an open secret. You probably don't have a comment on that as well. No comment. No. So as you already know, in my last video, I said I was going to do a video dedicated to a Kelly Kumalo. So if you've been wondering why, why, why am I dedicating a whole video to O Kelly Kumalo? Okay, Senzo May was a baby mama. Okay, O Mama Gatingo. Um, the reason why Usenzo Meiwa had passed away, had he not been at the Spaza house, maybe Senzo would have survived, continued to be the goalkeeper of note for Bafana Bafana, for the Orlando Pirates, but that was not God's will. Senzo's time was up, he did the most. Um, he died a, cru a cruel, cruel death, and to this day, 10 years later, his murderer, killers, killer or killers are still walking the street while the five accused are in here okay defending their innocence but why talk about kelly kumalo you wonder that whole basis of the usb the reason um and umnisi um discovered the discrepancies in the USB, the USB that, um, the data rather, that Hoss vowed by. Do you guys remember Hoss's testimony? He vowed by that data, okay? Um, Pinky comes to show us that, nope, that's an Excel document. I don't know how it is Excel. The data that Colonel Stein downloaded or manipulated in this case is that Ufiso Wuhlenduli accused number four, accused number five with cell number ending in 202 
called Kelly Kumalo twice on the 2nd of October 2014, okay? And the call lasted 110 seconds. And the second call was just before the death of Senator Mayor, literally almost 10 days before the 15th of October. Oh no, that was after the 15th of October 2015. And the call lasted 98 seconds. And both calls were to Kelly Kumalo with the number ending 4358. Now, what could possibly... Um, what business could accused number five and Kelly Kumalo have in common? You know, maybe if Isogutlen really wanted to buy a few tickets from Ukele Kumalo, maybe he wanted to hire her. It is not a crime to call Ukele Kumalo, but in this case, we have a Inkavi, okay, calling um, a celebrity, a renowned singer, okay, Ukele Kumalo, the voice of Africa. Kelly Kumalo, who at the time was not being investigated, was never a prime suspect, was an eyewitness to the death of Usain Zemeyua, but has never, not a single time, by the prosecutor been called to do the bare minimum, a civic duty, just to come and testify as an eyewitness. You see, Uzandi Kumalo, she came on the stand and she gave us that performance okay unforgettable performance when she points out a wine in Danzi and says do you know the pain that you guys have caused us do you know what my family has been through Uzandi please but you know what I digress that time that Uzandi also says okay and she also said what that she was looking through the bathroom door. Ngapopola, ngapopola. Because you know, Uzandi has got special eyes. They can turn, okay? Because the bathroom door is facing a wall, but Zandi's eyes are so special that they can turn and look down the hallway and see Senzo Meiwa fall after being shot. But Mzansi, let's get back to the big sister, Kelly Kumalo. Kelly Kumalo needs to write the defense a check. I said what I said. I'll say it again. Kelly Kumalo owes the defense a check and a very large one at that. The defense proves who Kelly Kumalo is innocent, even though innocent, even though the state says that o Kelly Kumalo is the mastermind in the death of Senzo Meiwa and that she called Obongani Danzi and then there were, there's a payment of 100,000. Uh, no. <laughs> Even though the state says that Ukele Kumalo called Ufiso Kutlenduli, accused number five, okay? And there's a, according to Wangani Danzi's uh, confession, that there was a 100,000 payment and Wangani Danzi got 60,000 while the other four shared 40,000. But you know what? That's a story for another video. But let's focus on why Ukele Kumalo should make a payment to the defense. Remember that time? when Okeli Kumalo had her lawyer just going to court at the very beginning in Judge Mela's courtroom and her lawyer was just sitting there as an observing brief. She was just there and I imagine she was being paid and being paid top dollar. So we already know that Okeli will pay lawyers for nothing. Now that the defense has done the hard work of clearing which therefore she therefore benefits as well she also needs to show appreciation for the defense and the work that they did but you know what's interesting for me after this is um usb <laughs> courthouse drama I flew first class, okay, to Kelly Kumalo's Instagram account to see her reaction. Dololo, okay, zwi, nothing, nada. I said, okay, I know somebody, I know someone who talks a lot on the Instagram. They've probably reacted to this. I flew again, first class over there to Uzandi Kumalo's Instagram. Dololo. Zui. So this video is dedicated to O Kelly Kumalo, okay? Kelly Kumalo, come here, okay? We already know that Chico Twala thinks Ngome Zulu is incompetent, but Kelly, I know you're a smart woman. Loosen up the purse strings. Loosen up the purse strings and show appreciation.
to the defense and you know just write them a check cut them a check for services rendered i know i know some of you are gonna argue she didn't hire them she didn't ask to be cleared she was never charged accused number zero remains accused number zero she has been cleared from any association except you know in case 375 we need accused number zero right there because we still don't know what happened to Usenzo Miwa but you know what Mzansi this let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts on this should Kelly Kumalo write the defense a check yes or no type a one in the comment section if you think ukele kumalo owes the defense a large check and type a two in the comment section if you think absolutely not and you know what she can write it off as a donation you see what happened with the vbs scandal um the vbs chairperson gave the eff a five million rants okay and he wrote it off as a charity donation I i'm sure kelly can do something creative for the defense team but you know what Mzansi, that is it from me today thank you so much for watching absolutely love it when you do remember the things that make the channel grow because we're on our way to 40 thousand subscribers please remember to like comment and subscribe like comment and subscribe one more time like comment and subscribe and if you've made it this far in the video you already know you're part of our vip gang gang thanks for watching all the ads okay it helps keep the lights on and i'll catch you definitely definitely where on our next upload if you're watching from outside the club it's time it is time i'm actually going to do a video dedicated you know what this one i'm not going to hint it i'm not going to hint it but i Next video you're going to see from me. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to put it up. You're going to enjoy it. Queen of Shololo. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll definitely, definitely catch you on my next upload.